This video will show you how to do inverse Laplace transform by partial fraction. This example will show you how do we deal with quadratic factor. Our problems will be inverse Laplace transform of s plus 2 over s minus 3 over s squared plus 9. Normally, when we do partial fraction, we try to factorize the denominator completely. However, for this case, the denominator has been factorized for us, and the s squared plus 9 cannot be factorized. So the next thing we do is to try completing the square. However, this is not helpful either. S squared plus 9 is a quadratic factor. When we do partial fraction, S plus 2 over S minus 3 times S squared plus 9 can be split into two terms. The first term has a denominator S minus 3 and numerator A. The second term has a denominator s squared plus 9 and numerator b times s plus c instead of just a number. After we have split s plus 2 over s minus 3 times s squared plus 9 into two terms, we multiply both sides by the denominator s minus 3 s squared plus 9. So we have s minus 3 s squared plus 9 multiplied on the left hand side and s minus 3 s squared plus 9 multiplied on each term on the right hand side. Now after we multiply, we find that there are a lot of cancellation. So the left hand side after the cancellation is s plus 2. And on the right hand side, after the cancellation, the first term have a times s squared plus 9. And the second term after the cancellation is b times s plus c multiplied with s minus 3. We are going to find the values of a, b, and c. To find a, it is easy. You put s equal to 3. Then, when you put s equal to 3, everywhere, you will find that the left hand side becomes 5. The right hand side becomes a term 3 square plus 9 and then the second term because when s equals 3 s minus 3 is 0 so the second term becomes 0 that means 5 equal to 3 square is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 so a equal to 5 over 18 after we have found that a equal to 5 over 18. The next easy target we can find is find C. You can put S equal to 0. Then the value of B will disappear. And you can concentrate to find C. So let's put S equal to 0 here. And then the left hand side becomes 2. The right hand side, when you put s equal to 0, becomes 5 over 18 times 0 plus 9. And then, second term becomes 0 plus c, you get c there, times minus 3. So, 2 equal to 5 over 2 minus 3c. So that means that 
three C is equal to five over two minus two, which is one over two. So C is equal to one over six. Put C equal to one over six. We are ready to find D. We can substitute S by S equal to one or two or minus one. Except S equal to three or S equal to zero, you should be able to find the value of B. However, I'm going to show you another method called comparing coefficient. So what is comparing coefficient? Here is a little review of the method of comparing coefficient. Let's say I have x cubed plus 4x minus 5 equal to a times x cubed plus b times x squared plus c times x plus d for all x. What is the value of a, b, c, and d? I can rewrite the left hand side as 1 times x cubed and then there is no x squared I can write it as 0 times x squared and then there is 4 times x plus negative 5 and then the right hand side is a times x cubed plus b times x squared plus c times x plus d then by comparing the coefficient of x cubed I must have 1 equal to a and 0 equal to b and 4 equal to c and minus 5 equal to d. So I conclude that a equal to 1, b equal to 0, c equal to 4, d equal to minus 5. Let's come back to the problem of finding the value of b. In our equation, s plus 2 is equal to 5 over 18 times s squared plus 9 plus bs plus 1 over 6 times s minus 3. Now the left hand side has no s squared, so you can write this as 0 times s squared plus 1 times s plus 2. And the right hand side is 5 over 18 times s squared plus 9 plus bs plus 1 over 6 times s minus 3. I am going to compare the coefficient of s squared. On the left hand side, the coefficient is 0, 0 times s squared. Now where are the s squared on the right hand side? There is a 5 over 18 s squared, there is a bs times s, okay, bs squared, and these are the two places you get s squared. So the right hand side is 5 over 18 of s squared and b of s squared. Therefore, b is equal to negative 5 over 18. So we are now ready to find the partial fraction of s plus 2 over s minus 3 over s squared plus 9, where a is equal to 5 over 18, b equal to negative 5 over 18, and c equal to 1 over 6. So s plus 2 divided by s minus 3 and s squared plus 9 is 5 over 18 times 1 over s minus 3 plus minus 5 over 18 times s plus 1 over 6 over s squared plus 9. However, the
the second term can be split again as minus 5 over 18 times s over s squared plus 9 plus 1 over 6 times 1 over s squared plus 9. So, the inverse Laplace transform of s plus 2 over s minus 3 s squared plus 9 is 5 over 18 inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 3 minus 5 over 18 inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 9 where 9 is equal to 3 squared plus 1 over 6 inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared plus 3 squared. Now using the formula, we know that inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus a is e power a t and inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus a squared is cosine a t and inverse Laplace transform of a over s squared plus a squared is sine of a t. So the answer is first term is 5 over 18 times e power 3t. The second term is minus 5 over 18 times cosine of 3t. And the third term, we need to do some adjustment because we must have a over s squared plus a squared. Therefore, I must have a 3 on the numerator and then divide by 3 again. So, this will give me 1 over 3 times 1 over 6, 1 over 18, then sine of 3t. And this is the final answer for the inverse Laplace transform of s plus 2 over s minus 3 times s squared plus 9.